Hi everyone, Cedric here. Welcome back to Nino Kitty 2, level 26. So it should be, should be doable. There we go. Oh, level up for Leander. And money. Three Sages Secrets. Nice. Uh, Cumulative Tainted Monster Bounty, a Spell Power Sweller. And that side quest. Moon, Moon Goal? Okay. Back to gold paw. Spell Power Sweller. Increases the amount of MP restored. Ooh. I'd like to use that <laughs> Roman. That's awesome. I'll give it to Leander, though. He's the more spell caster. Evan comes close, I think. Oh, speaking of, didn't one of them learn a new spell that I never, never did anything with? I think it was Evan. Floodlight. Summons the power of light to protect all allies from physical and magical attacks. That sounds awesome. That sounds super useful. Um, I'll take off Flurry for now. Put on Floodlight. I need to upgrade Water Balloon. Whoa. Mm. Yep, we sure did. We have indeed. It wasn't easy, but we managed it in the end. <laughs> Simply wonderful. You clearly boast the heart and soul of a true warrior. Indefatigable spirit that seeks our greater and greater challenges. Mightier foes to smite, higher summits to scale. It's the true path. The one true path. Give me. Cannot maintain the charade any longer. Everything I told you has been a lie. Aww, I was hoping it wasn't. And as much as I enjoyed being looked upon with awe and admiration, truth is I deserve nothing of the sort. I'm terrified of all forms of confrontation. I'm not a heroic bone in my body. Utterly worthless. Oh. oh. Well, I don't think that's necessarily that's exactly true. If you were really scared of confrontation, you would have never have told us about Conflagra and asked us to go to feed her. Kind to try and draw positives from my cowardice. Not only are you strong of body, you're gentle of heart. Tell the truth. I always thought myself to be a little worth. This is no doubt why I turned to telling such tall tales. You showed me the error of such foolishness. I have a bright ahead, future ahead of you, I'm certain of it. You may even prove yourself to be a mighty warrior, mightier warrior than the one I imagined myself to be. Oh, I don't know about that. High hopes for you, young man. All I ask is that you return here and tell me your adventures one day. You do that for me? Oh, of course. <laughs> Excellent. I wish you the very best. A long range ring. <laughs> hey. Why 
Why the Statue of Lady Luck has her has its mouth open? I do. It's because it's telling, talking to the fates and asking them to bring good fortune to Goldpaw. Huh. Interesting. Uh, let's see. I don't know if the swift solutions are connected. Welcome to Swift Solutions. Mm. Okay. Oh, by the way. So there's that. Rose, rose, rose hip tart, sock pusses, who's been following the fisherman. We can do that. Fangs for everything. That's probably going to be an even tougher skirmish quest. All right. Um, harbor. Hello. Is this okay to you to run from me? Excuse me. Would you mind if we had a quick word? Hmm. Fine, but I just warn you that I'm not presently in the best of moods. Whatever you have to say, I would advise you to keep it short. Uh. Alright, well, someone's asked me to explain an unfortunate incident. You see, his hand slipped and the line went into the water accidentally. He didn't mean to go fishing where he wasn't supposed to. Forgive me, I do not understand. A fisherman wishes to explain himself to me? Yes, he's very keen for you to know that he didn't mean to go fishing out of bounds. Huh? Now I think I understand. Tell your friend not to worry. I'm no palace guard or fisheries enforcer. I think there's been an unfortunate misunderstanding. What? Really? I do not know what he did, of course. The fishing restrictions are in place for a reason. But if he says it was an accident, I believe him. Not that it's any of my business of mine, either way. My concern was not where he fished, but what he fished with. I found his hook and tackle in the water. Craftsmanship is exquisite. Such beautiful objects should not be wasted on fish. I wish to ask him where he buys his gear so I might purchase two such hooks to wear as my earrings. Uh, okay. Wow, they, you like them so well that they should be accessories, earrings, instead of fishing hooks. Okay. Oh. Speak to him and assure him I bear him no ill will. Perhaps ask where he buys his hooks? Mm. Sure. Okay. I don't remember where he's at. Follow the arrow! <laughs> I'm so glad the map is useful in this game. A good map can make all the difference. I did find her. It turns out it was all just one big misunderstanding. You see, she found your fishing line and really liked the hook you were using, so she wanted to ask you where you got it so she could buy some to wear as earrings. Oh. My hook? I make all my hooks myself. She wants to wear them as accessories, you say? Nice. Maybe you shouldn't be an angler anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? I never guessed, Mung. I mean, I have said you were a bit clumsy, sort, to be honest, with what everything we've heard so far. <laughs> 
I have long had an interest in intricate handicraft, though it is rare indeed for my work to be praised. What a curious sensation. You should do that. Anyway, the important thing is she's not all angry. Why don't you go and speak to her yourself? Sounds as though you have plenty to talk about. Do you admire her? Oh no, such a thing is impossible. Flippin' heck, man! Pull yourself together. A girl says she likes your work, and you're just gonna hide by by her till she goes away? I must speak to her. Never had never met anyone who cares for the items I produce. Golden opportunity! <laughs> I wouldn't get your hopes up too high just yet. You haven't even met her. Too right, man! Rest of your life starts here, innit? Now, if you're gonna do this, why not make her a little something to say thanks for being a fan? I mean, you already know what she likes. Yeah, yeah. Excellent idea. Make her a pair of earrings. <laughs> it's beautiful. Now, you best get cracking. She's not gonna hang around waiting for you forever. Good job, Lofty. Don't get the poor man too carried away, Lofty. I'm not sure he's ready for all. Do not censure your little friend. He has my best interest at heart. I'm sure of it. Yeah, he does. Got a pair of earrings. I must find requisite materials. Three gold nuggets. What? Look, I really think you're getting a little ahead of yourself here. Surely you should talk to her before sending us to... D don't deserve a craftsman at work. Making earrings requires intense concentration. I tend for these to be my finest pieces yet. Oh, well. Oh, all right. We'll go and get you your three gold nuggets, but only because I'm curious about how this is all going to work out. And it's the very last errand I'm running for you, alright? <laughs> Do I even have any? No. But that can be fixed. It's expensive, but it can be fixed. Because I am also curious how this is going to play out. Welcome to Swift Solutions. Did that one? Trade tokens of gratitude. Because they're ten apiece. <laughs> Not, not cheap. Oh, by the way. Not cheap at all. Oh. All right, here you go. So perfect. With these, I can make her the earrings of her dreams. I'm very happy to hear it. Now, if you don't mind, I'll leave you to it. Wait, I insist you be the first to see them when they're completed. Jar, you were instrumental in their production. It'll take no more than ten hours or so. What the? Ten hours? You must be having a laugh, man. You think we got nothing better to do than stand around watching you bang some bits of metal together for ten flippin' hours? Hey. Take a seat, wait for me to finish. The results will be worth it, I assure you. Oh, oh it's you. Hi. Oh. How did you, I mean, what are you, ah. <laughs> Deliver a message by receiving a response. After a while, grew tired of waiting. How did I find you? Simply followed the boy, of course. As you know, I have a habit of following people. <laughs> Oi. Well, Lemon, she's taking matters into her own hands. Looks like our work here is done. You're right, Lofty. We probably should leave them to it. <laughs> Losing his hook, your friend may have landed the biggest catch of his life. <laughs> and probably so. <laughs> Was my persecutor? No, I'm certain she's nothing short of my soulmate. Yeah, it sounds like you got the biggest catch of your life. Well, oh, all's well that ends well. 
All right, next up on the hit parade. I think I need to find some skirmishes that I can do. <laughs> Let's start by Evermore and look around. Okay. We know that one's like level 19. It's like Tyron, Tyron's Revenge from the very beginning. This is only level three. Which won't give us much experience. But we can see skirmishes on this map. There's one there. By the grotto. Um, maybe get there from the cottage? Maybe? Yeah. Well, let's try this. And we can just grab some miscellaneous stuff while we're at it. Or not. <laughs> How about we not go this way, I guess? Yeah. Where's, where's the cottage? We need to go back down. Go from here. I wish there were more skirmishes. Because I, I feel like there's a gap. Between the skirmishes I can do again See, this one's only level four. Between skirmishes I can do again and the level of of the skirmishes. There's one down there. That's not the ones at Gold Paw. Oh, there's one back at the Labyrinth. Maybe that's doable. All right, let's try the one by the forest. Well, I could do Wiggly Way, I think. Now we just go this way. Something a bit higher level. There it is. Or maybe it's up there. It's up there. Or had a way in the kingdom where I could um, spin king's guilders or put them in a building and have them s slowly get EXP. Like, that would have been really nice. That would have helped out. 20 s silk slippers. Lord Treasurer. It's for finding so many treasure chests. Fabricus Fortlets. Nine. We can do this. Nine's definitely kind of what I was looking for. Nine, ten. Around there. Okay. Defeat all the bandits. <coughs> Alright. We only get 
two thousand. Uh, HP boost might be a good idea. Okay, what do they got? Bow, sword, hammer, shields. No spears. Well, they're higher level than I remember. Helena's Hellraisers. Oh wow, level 16. So far so good. This unit's presence on the field boosts the power of allied range attacks. The toxic Trap slowly drains the HP of the unit directly ahead by means of a devious device. Ryan's Belters, Archer's Aim. Uh, boosts the attack speed of all allied archers. Place Palisade. Builds a fence that will obstruct the enemy unit until they've dismantled it. Oh, that's cool. This unit present on the field reduces damage from sea showers and cannons. I like that. The unit stays rooted to the spot, enjoying a defense boost as a result. So we just have them defend up front. We have a lot of good choices. You see, they you can get several types of units, which is awesome. They should have had more skirmishes for you to take advantage of it. Because only the ones that you take with you into battle get EXP. They should all get some EXP. That would help as well. Um, I really like... I really like the group we have here. Out the shield unit. A few surprises for you. So beauties will make your life miserable. Oh yeah, it's a bunch of towers. Good luck, everyone. Yeah, we'll just have to tear them down. Batter the bandits. Big military might boost. Ha! You just, we just go around it. That's funny. They're way down. One of the one of the enemies without no, without doing much. He had enough range units. Now's our 
But to pull back, regroup, and clobber you. Take over, rebuild the installations in preparations for the enemy's attack. Give me that. Where do you think they're gonna come from? That's the. What? That's the question. Rebuild this one. And remember, I can place one. Looks like they're coming from over there. Oh no, they're just all around. <laughs> oh, I kind of wish I built them all now. Now I know if I ever get to do this again. I kind of wish you could do the same ones over. Because what else I can do? Oh, they took out the... They took out the station. And you don't get enough... I don't feel like you get enough military might to be doing something like that. To be repairing everything. Not like that one mission we did, which was really awesome. Where we rebuilt all the ones along the, the waterfront. Green Prism, Wave Skipper Shell, and I think a level. Uh, I again, I just wish you got more, more skirmishes, more ways to level up your, your people. Um, that will do it for this episode. Next time, let's. If I buffed up people through King's Guilders, maybe? I want to give it a try. The uh, level 14 one. We'll do that. And depending on how long that takes, we'll go... We'll head to Broadleaf. We'll start heading that way. And see what awaits us there. Thank you very much for watching. Again, hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a lot of fun. I know we're doing a lot of side questy things, but I'm still having fun, and that's that's what's important for the for the game. It's like I'm still enjoying. I'm still having fun. I enjoy all these little side mission things. They're not boring or grindy, which is great. At least to me, they just don't feel that way. Like sometimes you play an RPG, it's like, ugh, now I have to go do this, and that's that's no fun. I enjoy all this. I enjoy the skirmishes. I I enjoy trying to find the item. Sometimes it takes a while. Uh, I like the fighting the tainted monsters because they're stronger and they, they give you a challenge. The dreamer's doors are interesting. It just feels like the ones I find are really difficult. We need to do some of that research and make them easier to go through. Um, but they're neat in their own way. And, of course, the story and characters are phenomenal. Until the next episode, I'm Cinderay9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.